Papa Biden welcomes all of you children to the match where I'll finally become WWE champion when I defeat Roman Reigns in a matter of literal seconds. And I'm not being sarcastic either, trust me. Joe, you freaking dinosaur in a human costume. You really think you're gonna beat me? The tribal chief, the master in the bedroom, Roman Reigns? Wait! Joe, who in the hell are those people behind you? I thought we decided that no one would interfere in this match. Did your demented ass forget like you always do? Yeah, those are my two favorite kids I have in my basement. I just wanted them to walk me out to the ring today so I didn't get sneaked attacked or something by one of your stupid shield friends. I will admit, though, that one of them reminds me a lot like Donald Trump, but I won't go there today. That baby is pretty massive, but what? Who in the fuck am I seeing this shit right? Is that Lil Baby? What are you doing here? Bro, Roman, you gotta help me, my guy. This creepy-ass motherfucker has been sniffing me every day of my goddamn life, homie, because the fossil actually thinks I'm a baby. Please save me, tribal chief. Yeah, the dummy thinks that I'm gonna fall for his little joke where he tells me that he's not a little kid and that he's actually an adult. I know I've had him down there for almost 25 years at this point, but he's still a baby. It's literally in his name. Uncle Bidenator's too smart, I swear to God. Well, uh... I'm pretty sure the guy is 29 years old. My God, Joe, you are so stupid. It wouldn't surprise me if you couldn't say your ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. I don't remember the rest, nor can I sing. That doesn't matter. You know the thing. What? That made no sense. But let's just get this match started so I can beat your fossil ass so your bones crumble into dust, similar to what you ejaculate. Dust isn't just similar to what I ejaculate. It's the exact same thing that comes out of my two millimeter defeater that little girls get to taste every night in my basement. And I call this the Joe Biden combo. Such perfect jabs and punches to your ugly ass. I should be a boxer for real. If you were to box in real life, that would basically guarantee that Kamala Harris would become the 47th president of the United States, if you get what I'm saying. Dumbass. I'm the president, not Kamala. She's the vice president. Like, have you been living under a rock? Jesus Christ, you need some help, man. You really do, because this is crazy. You freaking idiot. I'm saying that if you were to box, you'd probably have a heart attack and die. Or you'd be punched in the head, get a brain hemorrhage, and then die. Or maybe both would happen. I don't know. You could also get knocked out and go into a coma for a few years. Oh, well, then I better become a boxer if I could go into a coma. Sleeping for years? God, that sounds like heaven. A literal dream coming true. You are a weird motherfucker, Joe. I've got to tell you. And I heard you can still hear things while you're in a coma. So maybe I'll be able to know if my wife Jill is actually cheating on me with the White House janitor. I've been seeing them talk to each other pretty much every day for the past year. One time I even heard him and Jill in my bedroom with the door locked making weird noises. I tried to ask them if I can come in, but he said, and I quote, we ain't tag teaming Jill right now, maybe later. So I just walked off and ate my chocolate chocolate chip ice cream outside. It melted, by the way. My God, Joe, you must have a PhD in yapology because you yap like crazy, my guy. And also, I think Jill cheated on you. But damn, I'm impressed that you managed to get out of that guillotine. I thought that would have for sure put your old ass to sleep into one of your hibernations. Well, it didn't, did it? I guess not, you bitch. But we need to get a replay on what you just did to me, because what in the actual hell is that? What would you even call that? Your balls literally catapulted me backwards. How is that even possible? Yeah, to be honest, Roman, I don't know what that was. I just did it for the hell of it, but I'm feeling like getting a little freaky today with your ass, so sit down, Daddy, and let's do it. Holy fuck, Joe, what are you doing? Are you trying to cowgirl my ass, or I guess I should say cowboy? Get off of me, you creep, I'm no kid. Oh, look at my ass twerk. It's just how it works. I see you looking. No need to be lying, lying. Yeah. Flip a dime. Heads means I'll give you a blowjob, so you better flip on tails so we can tell the tale when we're in jail. Jesus fucking Christ, do you really think this is a strip club, Joe? We are in a wrestling ring, you freaking bozo. And please never rap again, man. That shit was horrible. Superman punch. Say shit! You can't expect to hit me with one of my moves when you can barely walk up the stairs, you clown. Bro, walking up the stairs is hard, my guy. Recently, I've been having a hard time walking, so I've been needing to walk with a cane. That's why I haven't been out in the public recently, so I don't embarrass myself. I just hope that Elon Musk isn't in the call and is recording this and is going to show the video on the internet for everyone to laugh at. That's exactly what I'm doing right now, Joe. 
prepare to get canceled. What a coincidence. Another thing you should prepare for Sleepy Joe is this spear. Holy cow. Moo, moo, moo. That was insane. One, two, three, let's go! Bro, what the hell was that sound? Are you opening up a can of soda or something? Is that what you get for winning WWE 2K23 matches? I never knew that. I need to win more often, especially if there is pure Colombian involved. Ah, you know me, Joe. Just opened a can of Budweiser in celebration of me beating your old ass. And I chugged that bitch down just like your wife did last night to my flippy flopper. Wait, you're the janitor? What the fuck, Roman, you never told me. It was a joke, Joe. I'm not your stupid janitor. If I was the janitor, I'd probably quit because I wouldn't be wanting to change your dirty diapers every single hour of the freaking day. You probably shit yourself when I gave you that spear. Actually, Roman, you're right. I did shit my pants. It's starting to itch. Now it's running up my back. I think it's wet, too. It's really starting to itch, Roman, since you're the janitor. Can you please come and wipe me, or will Kamala have to do it again? You disgusting motherfucker! But I gotta go catch my flight before I miss it. And don't ask where I'm going. Because I'm sure in due time you will find out, maybe even by the end of this episode. Did you double check and make sure that George Bush isn't the pilot? Hell, Mao Joe, don't worry, I already checked and we're Gucci. But then who's gonna clean the White House and wipe my ass if you're gonna go? Ah yes, look at all of this food. So many Big Macs, fries, McFlurries, and even my favorite, the filet of fish And just so I don't get fat, I'll balance everything out with this small Diet Coke and this bag of apples. Now let's get digging into this masterpiece. Two thousand years later. Oh, hey, Donald, what's up, my orange friend? Oh, my fucking God, Obama, what are you doing here? I'm trying to eat my McDonald's in peace, and of course, Mr. Yemen had to show up, didn't he? I guess Manchel wasn't giving you enough attention. Dude, I came here because I'm pretty sure your fat ass forgot about the CM Punk versus Jay Uso match where whoever won would become the fourth member for our War Games team. Like, what are you doing, bro? Is McDonald's more important to you? Wait, what type of question is that? Of course it is. Damn, I forgot all about that, El Mao. Luckily, I did bring my laptop with me and we can hop onto Discord from there. I do want to finish this Mickey D's first, though. No! Fine, goddammit! The backstage brawler himself, CM Punk, is here, and I'm about to beat Jay Uso's ass and become the fourth member in the War Games match next episode. I'm the best in the world, baby. No one can stop me, just ask Jack Perry. Thank God we got here just in time, you McDonald's-eating goober. What did you just call me? Oh my God, you two presidents scared the shit out of me. I didn't think y'all would show up, but here we are. What took you guys so long? Oh yeah, that's our bad punk. We just took so long because of some Oompa Loompa that was too busy eating the entire McDonald's kitchen. If you were at KFC all alone, you would do the same exact thing, you bitch. Don't blame the big D Trump for nothing. Will you children shut the hell up? I don't want to have a headache before my match. Wait, where are the children? I need to know so I can sniff them. Oh my goodness, this is great. Thank you, God, for this blessing of kids. Holy fuck, Joe, leave the call right now, you creepy bitch. Dang, okay, I was going to order another semi-truck filled with chocolate, chocolate chip ice cream anyway. See you guys. If you see any unsupervised children, just give Uncle Bidenator a call. Creep! Yee. The Yeet Master is here to teach CM Punk a lesson to never mess with me. The fourth member spot for the War Games match was made for me, and not someone who's been fired from two wrestling companies. I was only fired from one wrestling company, actually. Whatever. Either way, I'm gonna beat your ass and then yeet your ass all the way to catering where you belong. Yeah, keep talking your bullshit, you punk. See what I did there? Because my name is CM Punk and I just called you a punk. Funny, right? Why did everything go so quiet? Was it really that bad? Damn, I guess I should never make a joke again, I guess. Goddamn. Well, with that monstrosity out of the way, let's you get this dirty, match bro. started so we can finally find out who will become the fourth member for our War Games team. Not so fast, Barry. What? You've got to be kidding me. The greatest pilot of all time, George W. Bush, is here to make this match a triple threat match because yours truly is joining it. Now let's ring that motherfucking bell. Bro, first off, before you do anything else, your Titantron is mad, sussy, baka, homie, and disgusting at the same time. Good Lord. Yeah, don't worry about it, Obama. Just trying to relive my favorite day in history, you know? Sure, George. 
How can Mr. Twin Towers just come out here and decide that he can come into my match and make it a triple threat match and no one is going to stop him? But I'll stop the piece of shit. Let's head backstage so I can make someone fear their life just like I did in AEW. I'll join you too, CM Punk. But Trump, you got to change this homie and, and get this guy out of here. Yee. Honestly, Jay and Punk, I fuck with this shit. Let's go. It gives a little more variability. While I may not like the slut, oh. he will put up a good fight to you too. And to raise the stakes a little more, this match will officially have what I like to call the Big D Trump rules. What? What are the Big D Trump rules, you may ask? Please inform me. Basically, it's just that everyone starts off with low health and three finishers each. This should be fun to watch while I eat my McDonald's El Mao. Well, actually, I don't want to get my laptop dirty, so I'll wait. Nah, never mind. I just can't resist the urge. Freaking McDonald's eating addict. Damn, Trump. The amount of stupidity in your tiny ass brain has impressed me even more. But this stupid Big D Trump rules triple threat match won't stop me from becoming the fourth member. I only really want to be the fourth member so I can get my hands on Seth Rollins. And it all starts now. I called it. Get over here, George, and get the hell away from me, you dumbass. Oh, damn, is the referee good? So you're more worried about the referee than your 43rd president of the United States? My God, Jay, you're a disgrace. No one cares about you, Bush, so just shut up. Wow. Just, wow. Bro, CM Punk, what was your ass trying to do there? Homie was trying to do something but failed miserably. I don't know, man. I guess I was trying to take some inspiration from your dog, Cody Rhodes, by hitting you with a disaster kick. Didn't quite work out, but second time's a charm, am I right? Or is it third time is a charm? Fourth time, maybe? Fifth time? Wait, maybe it's the sixth time? Speaking of Cody, I still haven't found that guy. I don't know where he went. I really don't. I'm starting to think that he flew to Madagascar to sing and dance to the song, Move It, Move It with the Lemurs. I wish he invited me, though, El Mao. That Madagascar shit was so random, I swear to God. Take this Flight 175 Destroyer, you bitch. What? And George, what are you doing, bro? I thought we were teaming up on Jay Uso, and then you just turned on me just like that? I thought we had something going. We were doing teamwork. That's something I don't do often unless I'm in a backstage fight, which is pretty often, actually. Teamwork? That's funny. The only time I used teamwork was in 2001. I'm just making up shit as I go Elmo. So, Donald, you got your prediction on who's going to win this match? Me, personally, I think... Shut the hell up, Barack. No one gives a damn what your prediction is. Fuck you. Everyone watching this video only cares about the Big D Trump's prediction, and that is my dog, Jay Uso. That guy is built different, you feel me? Yeats can take you a long way, let me tell you. Yeet! 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 Oh my god. Wow, Donnie, you're making me blush, my man. Thank you for the kind words. I bet Barry over there was gonna say CM Punk for who he thought is gonna win this match. El Mouse, so true. You idiots, my prediction on who's gonna win this match is Jay freaking Uso. Barry, just stop with the cat man and pipe down before I do something about it. Donald, you don't understand, I... Did you not just listen to what the Big D Trump said? He said to pipe down and shut the hell up. Do you not know how to follow simple directions? Did you not graduate kindergarten? Do you need me to call your mama? She'll be happy to hear my voice from after what we did together last night. I'm done. Disaster kick. Disaster kick? That looked more like a drop kick or something, but I'm kicking out of your bitch ass move anyway because I'm gonna win this match. It just doesn't make sense for there to be a team filled with presidents and then some random wrestler joined the group. It has to be a president like me. For all we know, the shield might have oil that they're hiding from us. We need that oil. It's our oil now, buddy. Oil, 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 oil. oil, oil. Do you really chant oil along with him, Obama? Yeah, Donnie, I love oil more than I love my husband. I mean my wife. I like oil myself, but I don't chant it like I'm in some cult or something. Actually, yeah, that's exactly what this shit is. This is a motherfucking cult. Oh, hey guys, Uncle Bidenator's back in the call. Oh my God, Joe, I thought I already told you to leave the call and never come back. We should have banned your prehistoric ass, but then Muskrat would have unbanned you. That's exactly what I would do, El Mao. It's the only way I can stay relevant in this series. Well, I just came back into the Discord call because Roman sent me a video and he told me to show it to Donald. So here it is. Oh, what did the sack of shit say? Hey, Trumpy Dumpty, you might be wondering, why is Roman outside right now? And why is he wanting me to see this message? Well, let me just flip the camera around and... Oh my, look at that Donald. It's Mar-a-Lago. What am I doing here? Well, your wife Melania invited me over. What? Yeah, that's right, motherfucker. 
Melania has invited me over and has told the security to let me in. We're about to get freaky in your bed. I hope you have a lot of towels because we're about to make a huge mess. Uh, I don't know what it means though. Holy fucking shit, Melania is cheating on me? Is this real life? Uh, what? I don't get it. My god, I'm going there right now. Obama, please throw my McDonald's trash away and keep the laptop. Uh, okay, I- uh... Holy fuck! Hey, get back here, you orange. Did that fat ass really just jump through one of the McDonald's windows? Holy shit, that man has some issues. Jesus Christ, can you guys stop screaming now? Thank you. But Joe, I haven't had a chance to ask you yet, but did you actually beat Roman in y'all's match? I'd assume that you did. In fact, beat him because you're the best vice president America has ever seen. But I just want to make sure, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, Barack, of course I won. I pinned his ass to the canvas for the one, two, three. Baby, it was crazy, I got to tell you. You didn't win, did you? Yeah, you got me. Roman cooked my ass up. Damn. I tried to twerk to distract him so I could win, but it didn't work. You did what? Uh, don't worry about it. Oh no, Joe, I'm interested. I wish I was there, goddamn. Get on the top rope, Jay! Get ready for this superplex to end this match! You presidents better get the fourth spot in the War Games match extra clean for the backstage brawler because I'm winning this! Instead of some stupid superplex, how about you take this yeet roll up and give up, pal? Oh no shit. I've gotta break up this pin. One, two, no, no, three. no! Oh! What the hell? Yee. I did it, boys. I did it. The Yeet Master Jay Uso is gonna be the fourth member for the War Games team. Now I'm gonna crack open a Budweiser and chug that bitch down in celebration. You and Roman are so damn alike. This is some bullshit. How did some goof pin me with a freaking roll up? Oh my god, I'm done with this shit. I'm out of this bitch. Yeah, same here. I'm pissed. I'm gonna drone strike the Middle East for oil and anger. See ya, idiots. Wait, George, can I join you? Oh, damn, he already left. Maybe another day. You're weird, Barack. You really are. But I bet every single dollar that I've gave to Ukraine and Israel that Elon Musk is still in this Discord call stalking our asses. I'll even bet all of the coke Hunter has ever gave me, and oh boy, all of that coke could probably fill multiple skyscrapers up. El Mao. Well, it looks like you and Hunter will still have your father and son time in the alleyway, because I'm still here. Damn, Elon, you are a creep. Well, at least I'm not a children-sniffing predator that originates from the prehistoric time period, you old fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! Damn. <laughs> All right, had to jump through a McDonald's window to get here, so Roman and my stupid wife, Melania, better get ready for these big D Trump hands. He's taken this shit way too far. Now he said he was in my bedroom, huh? Then he better be ready for a big surprise because I'm coming. Come on, Donald, breathe. Everything is going to be all right. All you got to do is bust in this hoe and knock Roman out and maybe, just maybe, throw Melania out of the window. But that's just a theory, a game theory. Now let's do this shit. Ah, shit, we're fucked. It's over for you, Roman. You've done it this time. You've completely come out of line from just Shit. some WWE 2K23 oh rivalry. You've no. made things even more personal. Damn. Now, Melania, get back here. Don't run from me. Don't think I forgot about you. No, Melania, run away, honey. 